Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and welcome to another video from the video set for this week. I am currently in Copart Demo in the main lot and I'll be looking at a car and a truck in this video. So without further ado, let's check the car first, right, shall guys, we? Here's the car for you. It's a 2013 BMW 528xi. Uh, it has the 2 liters 4 cylinders turbocharged engine. It's all we drive, of course, being X Drive. It has 115,000 miles, it has a clean title. And uh, according to Copart listing, it runs on drives and the main damage is listed as minor dents and scratches, so they couldn't find any damage to the exterior body whatsoever. And, and, this car looks very nice. It looks like it's brand new, so I'm wondering what's, what this car is doing in here. So, yeah. Okay, let's continue with the information. Uh, according to uh, Epic Vint, was involved in one accident. According to AutoCheck, it has two owners. It is currently sitting on $6,400 and it is pure sale. Alright, so, $6,400. Worth it? Well, here's the thing, guys. If the engine runs smooth, no issues, yes, it's worth it. It's actually worth more than that. But, but, and I know these engines, like, I have experience with these engines. Like, these engines, they, they tend to fail. Like, like, the early iterations of the N20 engine, like the four-cylinders turbocharged BMW, they are known to fail pretty badly. Like, let me tell you something about this engine at its first iterations. Like the uh, the guidings for the timing chain, they are plastic. Like, and it's not like it's not like like good plastic. No, it's bad plastic. It would brittle with time, and you'll start to see like chunks of plastic in your oil every like oil change. So yeah, it's it's a bad engine actually. It's not a good engine. But but they revised this engine in 2015 because. I, I, I had actually like a 2016 528XI and had that engine, but it was like the revised one. It was much better than this one. This one being 2013, it has like the bad one. If it's not, of course, like if like the like the guidings for the timing chain stuff, if like if they're replaced, then that's good. If not, then that's like uh, yeah, that's 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 a bad sign. All right, so let me show you the exterior. I really like it. Like the silver is very good on this car, and and like the shape of the uh, exterior body is very good. Not very good, actually, excellent. All right, let's take a look inside. It's pretty clean here. Nice leather seats. Smells good. Very nice. Let's take a look in here. All right, so what do we have? What kind of options we have? Backup sensors with camera, obviously. Oh, we do have like a heads-up display, but that's it, just heads-up display. Okay, for a 5 Series, not bad, not bad at all. So we have power. Oh yeah, we do, we do, we do have power. Nice, okay. All right, so let's go and check to see if we have enough oil. Alright, I got you guys, like you cannot check the oil, I just opened it like just to check like the engine bay, you cannot check like the oil on these BMWs, what is this? <laughs> alright, alright, ah, it's not getting out, okay, hmm, anyways, well, still, you don't have oil dipstick but you can check in here okay so okay so now you might be asking me okay so if you don't have like oil dipstick how will you start the engine well you can go actually to the infotainment screen and it will tell you if there is enough oil to start the engine so you turn the switch on you go to the menu uh, let me just turn that off. I don't want it to drain the battery. Oh, drivetrain malfunction. Okay, <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. Okay, vehicle info, and then vehicle status, and let's actually check like the uh, check control. Oh, okay, it's just this one. So as you can see, guys, like you go in here, engine oil level. When it checks out like this, it's just saying that, okay, you have enough oil to start the engine. 
So, yeah. So we do have enough oil to start the engine in that case. Okay, so let's see. Ouch. Ouch. Wow. It didn't even start. Maybe uh, we need to connect our jump pack. Let's try again. No. No, 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 no. Wow. That's not good at all. That's really bad. Like the sound coming from here, it was really bad. Well, here's the thing, guys. I'll just connect the jump pack just in case. Probably like it needs just like some power. Okay, I'll just connect the jump pack. Alright guys, so um, I just connected the jump pack and I'll try it one more time. Let's see. But that was sounding like that sound was really bad. It looks like, like there's no compression or something. Okay, well, let's try it one more time. Wow. Yeah. I don't want to do any more damage to it, so I'll not try actually. Wow, huh? Well, that that explains why this car is in here. Because if this car has only two owners and 115 miles, 115,000 miles on like a 2013 a 2013 car is not bad. So why they couldn't set like a motor trader? Place. They will get more money from it than selling it on co part. So, now it looks like we have a severe engine problem. As I told you guys, like this engine is not good at all. Yeah, so unfortunately, guys, I wasn't able to run it. But here's it for you the 2013 BMW 528. Right, guys, here's the next one for you. It's a 2019 Ram 1500. It is the big horn, or like the Lone Star. So it has the Hemi 5.7 V8 engine. Yeah, the Hemi engine. I like the Hemi engine. Okay, being a truck, it is of course real drive with all drive capability. It has 53,000 miles, it has salvage light unfortunately. According to Cobra listing, it runs on drives. The main damage is listed. Not sure if you can tell or not. It's hail damage. And according to Epic, it was involved in one accident. And it is on approval. And currently sitting at eleven thousand dollars and seven hundred. So eleven thousand, so almost twelve thousand dollars. I mean, it is nice inside, and I'm pretty sure like the Hemi engine would run top in this truck because obviously it was someone's daily driver and it got hailed, so they salvaged the whole thing. But here's the thing. I'll check the exterior for you guys, definitely. So I noticed that there is like scratch along those two doors in here. So it looks like it was keyed or something. Okay. Now the front end actually looks very good. It has no damage to it whatsoever. The hail damage. So this side here is hailed badly. That side over there guys there are no hints of any hail, but this side in here, there's like hail damage everywhere. Like on this fender in here, on the hood, you can see it clearly, obviously. The windshield, this here, the A pillar, the door, back door, and this quarter panel. And more likely, more likely on the roof, but let's check. And on the roof, we do have hail damage. So, we do have hail damage everywhere, as you can see. Wow. But that side, the other side was okay, but it was keyed at the same time. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's check actually the tailgate. Do we have anything on the tailgate? No. Here? No. Underneath actually looks brand new. Alright. Alright. Perfect. Perfect. Now, let's see, inside here, looks like we do have power, yes, 
yeah we do have like a very nice infotainment screen here and cloth seats but they are very good we do have like dog hair animal hair in here but other than that yeah it's very nice it really is okay all right it's not wow that's like <laughs> that's very big that's very big that's what i was what i'm planning on buying guys when i get like some money i'm planning to buy like a very nice truck like this one okay all right perfect i mean pretty sure like it has oil in it but as usual just in case and i just noticed something weird so we have the keys in here as you can see okay but at the same time it's saying here KB, so that means like the keys are in the office, but they are inside the truck. So <laughs> I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure if they are applying these rules or not. All right, so here's it for you guys. Yeah, baby, 5.7 V8 engine, the Hemi one. All right, let's check the oil. Yeah, we do have plenty of oil. It's good, we can start the engine, no issues. Alright, so yeah, let's try to start. Hopefully, the power in the battery is enough. Oh, like, there is juice in the bed just at the engine. I mean, it looks like someone's was, it was someone's baby. So, let's see. Yeah, start right away, no issues. Nice big infotainment screen. I'm pretty sure it's working. Yes, it is working. Radio. So, how do you get the radios like this? FM radio. This is Iowa Public Something fresh. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it works perfect. No issues. AC. Ice cold AC immediately. That's very good. Let me just uh, adjust like the uh, the mode and the fan speed, AC. Okay, that's on low. That's on low. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it's called AC. We do have some warning lights though. We do have like ABS light, and we do have like some kind of uh, what is this like lighting issue or something like that? I'm not sure. But other than that, yeah, engine's running smooth. And I'm pretty sure when you put it into gear, let's try reverse first. It will go no issues. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Steering feels great. Perfect. No issues. Yeah, brakes, they feel perfect as well. You do have actually like uh, front sensors as well as rear, that's nice, that's really nice. But rear braking assist unavailable, that's, I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, perfect. Runs perfect, drives perfect, no issues, no issues at all. Yeah, very good, very good. Let me just turn that off like that let's actually also like take a look at the engine bay yeah, I mean it runs top it runs very good very good actually let's take a look underneath yeah nice and dry no issues at all. Very nice truck. And very expensive truck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure guys, like it will not stop at 11.7. So I'm pretty sure it will go in like high tens, like, wow. Nice Hemi engine, really nice. Ah, low fuel, okay. Please don't die on me. Yeah, nothing at all. Very nice. 
No smoke. Wow, that's a very nice truck, guys. I'm pretty sure it will go probably for like around twenty thousand dollars. All right, perfect, perfect, very nice, very nice. I'll just turn it off and leave it to the lucky guy who's gonna get it. So here's it for you guys, the 2019. Guys, so that was it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching it please guys subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos and hit the like button if you like what you see thanks for watching again i'll see you in the next video thank you